welcome uh, to you have how many students? Uh, 500 students? You know, it's really hard. I'm derailed by this guy over here. And yes, I know the timer's going. So my name's Jared Bendis, and this guy is... I'm Mike Kenny. I'm wow. the Assistant Director for Faculty Development and Academic Technology at Case Western <laughs> And, and I'm the creative new media officer. Um, so our story, you know, I think we're gonna get gong. Might is beyond the term here. So anyway. If we get gong, you get the gong, right? That's correct. All right. Um, so our story starts two years ago when we were in slightly different roles. Well, vastly different roles, apparently. <laughs> uh, I was creative director of new media for the Friedman Center, and Mike was a chemistry professor. Um, he also was uh, a mortal man, apparently, as well. <laughs> so, a student comes into the Friedman Center to, for help with a video project, he says. Um, he has no training. He has no parameters. And apparently, he told us that his professor has 250 classmates. Um, so, after I have my heart attack, comes the, well, it's the angry phone call. Um, so, Mike's response was... Hey, I asked him if we could do it, and they said, sure, just talk to Jared. Well, why bother? That's literally what happened. So we decided to work together because apparently Mike likes to be a teammate. Um, so uh, Mike, what are your parameters for a good project? It's got to be fun. It's got to involve teamwork. It's definitely not a term paper. It's not a, oh wait, there's one more. It's about science. Yes. Captain Science right behind me. So anyway, I figured I would, I would go back to the ever-popular Wheel of New Media Solutions. What do we have this year? I bet I know what it's going to be. Ah, yes, comic books. How'd you guess? Come but they have to be about science. Yes, that's right, about science, because pedagogy is everything with us. Well, almost everything with us. Anyway, uh, so we do have a license for Comic Life at the Freedman Center. Students are going to have to buy anything with a multimedia center filled with licenses of Comic Life, because it's fun, and it's cheap, and it's cross-platform, and more importantly, they come to the lab to use it. Uh, it only takes me one class period to do the entire thing, so it's, it's really quick for me to teach it. Uh, and we were working with teams of Three to five three, students. Three, which averages to four. It does. And uh, the, my parameters for this project were that th this was, it, we were, this is not an illustration project. We are not rewarding students for their drawing ability. Some of them are going to do it anyway, but we're like, listen, don't derail yourself with illustrations. We want you to be using original photography uh, or clip art. Now, if a lot of you are going to groan when I say clip art, this is the kind of project where clip art is fun. Where the cheesier the clip art, the better the project. And of course, we also like people to use things like Creative Commons, uh, things that are in the public domain, and common sense. Now, the reason I mentioned the common sense factor is we did have a student who found a uh, screenshot of Mickey Mouse that had a Creative Commons attribution license. <laughs> common sense does enter into this, uh -oh, so... Uh, no, speed up. Uh oh, we're, no, we're going to be... He's fine. All right, uh, there was some confusion on the page count because Mike said eight pages, and they had earned it... Wait, what is... Uh, but I told them intervals of eight, you know, folios and all that, and they heard me, and so they said, oh, we can do 64 pages. Yes, now it's limited to eight pages, literally two sets of four. So anyway, no, we're not there yet. Uh, so we have some examples for you. The Adventures of, how do you say that word? The Adventures of Proteo Man and Gamma Guy. I can't read it today. Uh, baby Squirrel. Baby Squirrel. And, there you and go something or another. Uh, the Case of the Metabolic Syndrome. The tale of the tiny transistor. I That's that for you. you. All right, uh, acid rain and its effects on mercury. I got to say that one. The war inside Jack's body. Um, the that, caffeine conundrum. Uh, the adventures of Dopaman. <laughs> Dr. Kenny the beer guru. Yeah, that one I believe. And Dr. Kenny the medicine man. Um, these are just samples of the, well, ridiculous amount of comic books that I had to print. Um, it worked so well, we did it again. Uh, low class impact? Oh, very low class impact. Jared took about 20 minutes. Uh, regretfully, high center impact. Uh, we were turning people away. Of course, that was the last night. Uh, it was definitely fun for the students. They've told me so. Uh, and the good news is, is that bad PDFs don't go viral. So if your students do like a really terrible job, you don't have no risk of people going, have you seen this? Nobody cares about a bad PDF. How are we doing time-wise? I think we're doing okay. Well, then thank you.